my Scorpios, thank you so much for coming back or if you're just finding this channel, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. This is your week ahead tarot card reading. Um, this is a message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It is an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. Scorpio, this is your message. We start here. Oh, dude, you had a great reading last week, too. This is beautiful. Take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith, and this is this is good fortune, right? We all know that Grasshopper is sort of the representative of that. Um, take a leap of faith. Let's let's see where God wants us to go. Hold on. This is a timeless message. So when you see it, it is for the week ahead of when you see it. It doesn't have any specific date spans attached to it because you bring in the energy to you. You attract the message that you need to hear when you need to hear it. Um, that being said, there is a new message every single week, so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Scorpio. If you have a specific issue going on in your life right now where you just need a deep dive personal reading, I absolutely do do those. You can check out my website. We're gonna get this card too. Okay. Oh my God, I love, oh, okay. We're gonna get to that. Um, I mean, you can get over to my website and just book the reading that's right for you. I offer a couple of different ones and schedule at the time that works for you. Oh, and I'm also giving a 10% discount code to people who leave Google reviews for me after their reading as well. So you can, you can look to that too. Hold on, you ready? Let's go. Scorpio. Okay, so I smile because I'm happy for you. <laughs> we have take a leap of faith. Now take a leap of faith is just this. It's time for you to jump into something. The water is clear or even if it's not, even if things are a little bit foggy, this is a sense of at this point, you might actually even feel the momentum. Oh, oh my God, I gotta, do, I gotta do it. It's saying, trust this, take a leap of faith. It's saying that that's, that's the, that's the mentality that you should be in right now. Okay, but then I had this card, bring your ideas to life. And so these two cards together make a really powerful and kind of specific statement. Take, let's read them together. Take a leap of faith and bring your ideas to life. Are you ready, guys? Because it's time to flip the on switch. It's almost like you've been like the mad scientist and you're just ready to just take it from off to on. And it's just, you gotta have that leap of faith to say it is time to switch this bitch on. It is time to get the electricity running through this shit because it's time to pop off and make it real. It's like concept to reality, this is the time. Take the leap of faith now, even if you don't feel that you're ready. You know, it's like sometimes you're never gonna get to the next step if you don't take this first step and then you'll learn what you need to do to go to the next step. But it's time, it's time to start you know, being, being on again. Okay. Then we have think on your feet. This is beautiful energy in, in conjunction or in conjunction with these, <laughs> this is beautiful energy. This is Sagittarian energy and Fox comes up to say, you've got to be malleable. You've got to improvise it. it you're going to take the leap of faith and you're going to have to also be a master improvisationist moving forward but this is also the energy of expansion not necessarily and like i said with this luck and fortune sagittarius energy if you can be like light on your feet and let go of expectations and just sort of look at what's in front of you and maneuver the waters improv style 
it is time for you to believe in yourself and believe I can handle this. You can do this. And it's absolutely kind of set up for you to do this. And then we have spirit has your back. I mean, I just feel like holding up these cards and like, rah, rah, sis, goomba. You know, it's like Scorpio. This is your cheerleading squad. It's, it's definitely time. It's like put your palm palms in the air. It's definitely time. Spirit has your back. This is, um, could be government to me. First of all, spirit, literally spirit, but also it could represent government. It could represent rules, laws, anything like that that's sort of official. It's saying that it's it's all going to be on your side right now, even as, as complex and seemingly different as these energies are. It's saying you'll be able to navigate all the complicated stuff and you're going to see be surprised that things actually go your way and are starting to work out for you, especially with the more tangibly fastidious stuff, um, like, like the, the stuff that's more detailed and specific and um, administrative even, like, like it's just all that kind of stuff. It's, it's definitely time. It's time. Okay. All right. So take me where you want to go, God. W time for what? The time for what? What do we need to know? Remember, past, present, future. I'll always, um, I'll always cast out to the future. But if the past doesn't show up, it's because we've left it behind us. Okay. If the past does show up, it's because it is impacting why things are happening now. Just an FYI. Oh no, we seem to be future focused. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I just got the tickles for you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so facing me, I automatically, I'm just gonna show this to you guys. We have some hard working energy, some, some work, two cards that basically imply your hard work has paid off. People are taking a notice to your devotion. They're taking a notice to your skill set. They're taking a notice to how hard you work, but not just how hard you work, but how well you work. They're taking notice of the value that you add to this certain craft or something that you've crafted, or they're actually noticing your work. So this is very beautiful energy for people who want to purchase or hire you or partner with you. This is all that kind of attention that you're attracting. Now, since this is a general reading, you could also use this metaphorically and say, people are realizing your value. They're realizing that you do have your shit together and that you are capable of great things and that you actually are a fantastic person to have on their side. So that is also working to your favor. Now, we have another card that's facing up. Oh, I love this. And this is like toward the end of the week. So it's almost like, first of all, there's optimism here. And second of all, there's, but not only optimism, you've, you've, you've come through the forest, you've come through the, the hard crap, you've come through the fog, and now your ships are coming in and you're starting to see, oh, look at all these opportunities, and the opportunities are actually gonna start to come in for you. This is usually a card that says, whatever you invested in in the past, you're starting to see returns on now. <laughs> I'm just so excited because this is really good news. Scorpio, this is really good news. I mean, Okay. okay, so, <laughs> bitch, bitch, please. Uh, look at this. I'm telling you, Pisces is not going to be having the same kind of week. I'm just letting you know. But, but here we go, guys. Um, this is Sun card, which is success. It is, um, it is really being seen and shining and being ready to be seen. It could be the star of the show. You know, getting a lot of attention, getting the spotlight on you. Um, but success here, I guess I'm more focused on career and stuff, but you could also focus this on personal relationships, like finding somebody who's worth a damn or finally attracting somebody whose quality instead of like a piece of shit that you're, nor you're used to. This is a sense of, ooh, success. And accompanying these cards, this is a major breakthrough especially at work or with what you have been working on and, and really being seen for your quality and letting that shine. People could be looking for you. Something you've been working on hard for a while. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So it's like, for people, well, the recognition that something that you hold is very precious and a commitment to keeping it 
and um, carrying it long term. This is also just a sense of somebody either willing to invest in you or recognizing that what you offer is something that they want or slow and steady wins the race. A practical, realistic approach, it's tangible. It sits in your hand. Like it's, it's real. Could this be slow moving? It's almost like I don't think it is or if it is, it's not a bad thing because you don't want this. This is the kind of a moment that you want to hold on to for a while and it's going to last. There's a lastingness to it. There's a longevity to the, the quality and the value here now. And then we have uh, five of cups. Oh, I understand. It could have taken a while for you to get here. And be, uh, up until this point, there is a sense of there was a lot of disappointment. Maybe you weren't making money or you were undervalued or it took so long and whatever came in was never worth a damn or you were always disappointed. This could also mean money is finally coming through that you were owed or that there's value finally coming through or somebody's finally appreciating you after you'd been disappointed by them. Because the Five of Cups is or somebody's paying you back for damages from the past like money's finally coming in or it's starting to finally be generated um either way no reason to cry over spilt milk that's the spilt milk card the sense of you're disappointed you you're but you're looking at the past and if you're disappointed then stop looking at the past and start looking at what is being presented to you now because it's fucking fantastic and it's going to have longevity and don't you dare cut yourself off from this opportunity because you're holding a grudge that it didn't get here in time it always gets here on time it gets here at the right time every time i don't give a fuck if it didn't get here when you wanted it to god's not sitting there saying mm, how do i make scorpio happy today y'all gotta keep up with god god don't have to keep up with y'all and it's it's true for all of us not just true for scorpio but we all get like this we all get like i'm disappointed because it didn't happen when i wanted it to don't let that shit get in your way. I think this is a warning, Scorpio. Don't let your resentment and grudges from the past. It's almost like being angry it didn't happen sooner. It's happening now. Fucking take that shit in and be like, hallelujah. Thank you, God. It arrives at the perfect fucking time. It really does. And you just got to get that little bit of that mentality of mm, ingratitude out of the way. And let that gratitude in your heart because that's what's going to carry you into the future and make sure that it lasts because gratitude is the river on which abundance flows. I got to get a t-shirt because, I mean, it's, that, it's like the perfect statement. And honestly, there's no reason to be pissed or hissy that something didn't happen faster because... Maybe it wasn't ready, maybe it wasn't prepared, or maybe you weren't as ready as you thought you were. Because sometimes we give ourselves credit that we do not deserve. And it's like, how beautiful is this moment? You've just got to have a leap of faith. And also, for some of you, it's going to be a little bit harder because you've been disappointed before and you're not going to want to try this time around. God's saying, forget the past. It doesn't exist move forward you feel me pushing you because i'm letting you know that this was the right time for you to jump and then we have bebo i am I, I mean i'm not doing it the universe is i shouting at you it's be look at this read it be bold and make the first move. Bam! You know, at first it might be slow. At first it might be receptive, uh, you know, um, at first maybe uh, the reception of your motion w might be a little bit slow. Like, you know, and you might be disappointed. Stop. What it's saying is put it out there. It may be slow to come back, but it's coming back. I would say a week tops. A week tops. Five days, probably not five weeks for most of you, but even if it is, that's still only a month away. 
that's still only like less it's like it's not that far away it's saying get going now for this beautiful thing to just be set up and it's all happening right here it's not really happening that much in the future so i, I don't think that most of you are going to have to wait but even if you do who cares you're going to have to wait a hell of a lot longer if you don't take the chance now so it's it's just it's just about finding your courage to believe and and to trust that god is pushing you because this is absolutely the right time can we get a little bit of future up in here let us know god what's on its way the hermit okay virgo full moon right in fact i just created a video on this over on astrology motivation the next three weeks go watch it you will understand how the process is going to work but there are changes that are coming this is the first thank you i just love you so much you want to know what it's saying the virgo full moon things are going to shift you want to know the timeline? You want to know the future? The Virgo. This is usually an eclipse, full moon, new moon. Virgo, full moon is when everything is going to shift or change. Or it was the Virgo. See, if this was the past, I would say this was the Virgo new moon that happened six months ago. Well, it look back to that time and see what happened around that time in your life. But this is starting to shift around this moon. It, you'll start to see this shift. So that's the timeline. Okay, <laughs> this is just so beautiful. So beautiful. What's on the other side? I hope you guys will come and see the extended. That link is always below. Or it's just on my website. You can always find them. Rest and relaxation. Reflection. Reflection on the past. Reflection on, I don't know, it's almost like tying up loose ends, reflection on what you were actually capable of, and maybe reflection on doing something in an untraditional way. And being grateful that you did, right? Now it could also be for some of you very specific, reflecting on an, a past marriage that didn't work out, or happy that you ended something that had gone on long term. There will be happiness that you did um, because it's like you don't want to behave in the traditional sense that you always have this is definitely ste stepping outside of your comfort zone for a very good reason let's go to the extended i'll see you guys there